couldn't believe it if I told you. It's Sunday afternoon. You know. Great. So from the outside of the crawl space, this is what you can see. As far as a furnace, they knew there was a furnace in here. They knew they had hard dock work except for this little bit right here. Check this out. Oh, this is what I do on a Sunday. And it's tight. Don't get me wrong, it's tight. The bucket I'll show you another purpose here in a minute. I say not a second. Curl my ass up underneath here. Oh boy. So first looks new. You know, that's a freaking bonus for me. Gas it. Gas is cut. Gas is cut. Electric is cut. I got it hung up in there. That's for the electric, but it doesn't run to the breaker, but I ain't worried about that. That's what we do. You can run the gas and you can run the electric. But just all I wanted to do is put my plastic underneath here. Didn't want to do anything until I seen how nice this furnace was. I didn't want to crawl under here. Never crawled underneath here. Said it was a 10 year old furnace and sitting under here not used. <clears throat> Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna pop those covers off. Anyways, let's get back to my bucket, right? That's exhaust. I took that off. I better get that leaf off there. That's our fire under. Oh, that was bright. Right, let me go my bucket. <laughs> so this comes out of the furnace and then blows heat to the rooms. Alright, blows heat to the rooms. That's where I started laying my plastic over there. Up underneath there. I don't know. You can't see that wall over there. But anyways, all behind me, and I can't get over to the kitchen underneath there. I don't know how I'm gonna get underneath there, but I gotta get underneath there around the plumbing and the water. But anyways, let's get back to this right here. It's locked up. So this is the box that furnace runs into. Well, anyways, I was covered with dirt, as you can see the dirt line, right? So I just bumped into one all day. So far, <laughs> this was like full all the way up to the plastic. You know what, freaking red dirt clay. I gotta get, I'm almost to the back of this thing. But that's what I've been doing. I gotta get to the other side. So I'm gonna shovel out enough so I can crawl underneath there to get to the other side because I gotta see what's going on over there too. I can't get around it from the hole. And this box needs to be replaced anyways. But I'm gonna call an HVAC guy, see what they'll charge me for that box. I can make that box. I can easily make this box. But these, these dumb asses, this box should have been as big all the way out to here where this tape line is. Look how skinny this box is. You know, it's so skinny. I don't know why they didn't make this box to go out for the whole for the whole air to pop through there. I don't know. Got no clue. Don't know. But if I gotta make a new box, I'll make a new box. That's no big deal. I can run an electric and a gas line. That's no big deal either. As long as the blower motor works in here. We'll see. I'm gonna pop these covers off. Run some juice to this thing. See if it see if it even works. Or just have the HVAC guys come out and give me a free estimate, right? And then they'll say, well, you need this, this, and this, and then I'll go to the freaking hardware store and get what I need. All right, so that's what I'm doing. This is, this is uh, how to remove dirt from a crawl space 101. Nobody believe me if I did if I didn't chomp. I mean, literally, been chomping for hours. Then you take your dirt, you know, you put it in this, put it in your bucket. And you take another shovel of dirt. Try to get it put underneath there as good as you can. And you put it in your bucket. I don't got much of a scoop there, I'm just showing you. That's how to remove dirt from a crawl space. And then you take your bucket, your two and a half gallon bucket, and you drag it outside, which ain't that far. My old dog's out there waiting for me. You take it across the lawn and you dump it out. 